Right then, here we are. Hopefully this will be the last episode with the uh, installation of these uh, these arms. Um, if you saw the last episode, you'll have seen us tear them off. And if you saw the episode before, like we'd have uh, we'd have been replacing the bearings, uh, the rear wheel bearings, and the uh, the front mount bush. Um, obviously, prior to installing them onto the car. So now we're in the position where we can get them on the car. Um, I've got all the bolts that came with the arm um, because they are different to the ones that uh, are on the steel arm. So if you're going to get these arms, make sure you get all the bolts with it as well. Um, if you get them off somewhere like eBay, just ask the uh, ask the seller to include them. Anyway, yeah, we're uh, we're in a position to uh, to get it offered up. Now, what I'm going to do, the way I'm going to do this, basically, get the front offered up, get one of the bolts in holding the uh, the mount up. As you can see, this mount is not tight yet. That bolt will be tightened once the weight of the wheels, uh, sorry, the weight of the car is loaded in suspension, so that we don't prematurely wear the bush later on. Um, and then, so yeah, once the uh, once that bolt's in, that'll take the weight of the front, and then I can look at getting um, the two arms installed here and here, and then the um, shock absorber mounted onto here. Once that's all done, the um, anti-roll bar drop link will go from here to this point here obviously on the inside of the arm and then it'll be a case of rebuilding the brakes and putting them all back on and get the wheel on uh, job done okay so yeah let's uh, let's get amongst it <laughs> Okay, so got one bolt in. I'm gonna stick two in while I'm here. Um, and there we go. That is that is the uh, the front of the arm suspended. I've got a bit of rust in my ear. Let me just get that out. That was horrible. Right. Okay, as you can see, we've got loads of loads of movement and play in this, so we can uh, we can adjust it to however we want to in order to get it mounted up to the car. Okay, so I think what we'll do first is get these two um, fitted. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loosely fit everything um, and then go around and talk it all at the end. Um, in, in, you know, in one hit. So, oh, uh, not really on size. Eighteen. Yeah. And presumably an eighteen on the uh, on the inside as well. Okay, I'm not too worried about the routing of the ABS cable at the moment. Um, let's take the bolt out for the shock absorber as well, actually. Come on, okay, I'll find it to put it in. There we are. Okay, so. There's the top one. Here's a bit of a wiggle. And then that. And there we go. So now we've got it suspended where we want it to be. Um, it, this, you know, it's taken a bit of the strain off. Bit of a strain off, I don't have to lift it anymore. It's all pretty much gonna be where it needs to be. Okay, so 
now what we'll do we'll go around put all the bolts in where they need to be and then uh, we'll get them nipped up um, uh, in, in the rough orientation that they need to be one thing i do want to mention is this eccentric adjuster as you can see it's it's offset so depending upon the position depends upon whether the bolt is pointing in one direction or not but on the inside here there's a little this here slides and it will match so if we adjust it one way what it does is it slides in this slot um, and then pushes the arm uh, either out or in or out or in blah 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 and then what that does that will affect the camber of the rack so what i'm going to do for this is i'm going to set it roughly to the middle um because it's a good you know it's a good standard we'll call, we'll call it the standard we we'll go in the middle um, um and then obviously that will get adjusted when the car goes for its um goes for its alignment along with the front so there's no adjustment in here there's no adjustment at the shock but there is adjustment at the bottom uh, mount here and there's adjustment um for the toe at the front um at the front mount so yeah um, obviously we've affected the toe and we've affected the camber and we don't know what the factory settings are all we, we could find out the factory settings but we wouldn't have the means by which to set the factory settings here on the driveway so yeah get a get a professional to check over your um your alignment before uh, before you know you you, you go um calling the job done because otherwise you just wear through your tires uh, prematurely okay so uh, yeah let's get it all let's all get every, all the bolts put in okay so what i'm doing is just tapping the arm just to get it lined up which it is and then i can feed this bolt through and as i said it is eccentric so depending upon the position of this will determine the position of the bolt in the slot. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna set it so it's roughly in the middle, which is about there. So I'm gonna call that in the center. And then as you can see it's roughly in the middle of this slot and then that will go over the top and then the bolt simply needs doing up just tighten her up like so Now, obviously, the, this is going to want to move. I guess get to a point where this is going to start catching, and then I'll just hold that with my 24 mil, and then tighten it down with my 16, making sure. In fact, hang on. The, there's like a little plastic plug on the plate that needs to go into its hole, and it's not quite sitting in there. So I'll get that aligned. And have another go. And there we are. Okay, so now tighten her up and there we go all right that is only nipped up it's not it's not um you know it's not uh been lent on uh, and it's not torqued yet either so obviously as I said before, everything will get torqued at the end. Um, what we'll do is um, we need to lift the weight of the car. Uh, I'll use the jack underneath here, and then um, that'll lift the weight of the car onto the jack, and then we can go around and tighten all the bolts, making sure that they're all good. Okay, so up here, we have our 18. Now, there's no adjustment at the top on this one. 
but this one's just been nicked up as per normal. There we go. Okay, so that's those two arms, both bolted up, all good. So what we'll do next is the shock absorber. Right, not forgetting our little adapter. Now, if you're uh, unsure what this is, you uh, clearly didn't see episode one. Let's go back and have a look at it. It's an adapter to allow R50 arms to um, fit onto R50. Uh, it's wrong, sorry. It's an adapter to allow R50 suspension to fit onto an R56 arm uh, due to the differences at the bottom. So yeah, that's what that is. And that will simply pop into the arm and then the shock absorber will go over the top of it. And then all I need to do now is get this bolt in. And tightened up. And there we go, that is the uh, the bottom bolt for the shock absorber in. And uh, yeah, we're all good. So next, what we'll do, we'll get the anti roll bar drop link mounted up, um, and then we'll look at um, getting the third bolt into the front and then getting them uh, nipped up. Okay, here we have a brand new anti roll bar drop link. And as I mentioned in the first episode, on the R56, because the, the hole where it actually goes through is is deeper you need um, a different uh, anti-roll bar to the r50 so the r50 ones do not are not a direct fit onto uh, r56 arms so yeah i mean they're not expensive anyway what are they like 10 or each or something they're not they're not um, they are not expensive by any stretch of the imagination so as i said the uh, the long one goes at the bottom and it goes through a hole in the arm just next to just next to the just next to the uh, shock absorber mount just there that is where it mounts through um, so feed it through we'll get there in a moment there we go we'll go on get in there Actually, I've come across a little bit of a... Ah, that's quite interesting. Right. Okay, now... Obviously, I didn't realise that this was going to be a factor. But... The anti barrel bar drop link won't go into the hole with this mounted up. So, so guess what? We've got to undo it again. Um, So yeah, this is uh, a bit awkward, uh, and I find it a bit weird that you would have to undo this just to change that, because you should do it, like I said before, you change the steering geometry, and you wouldn't want to have to do that every time you uh, want to change a drop link, so that's a bit of a bummer. And there we are, that is, that is the drop link fitted in place. Yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a pain. I did not anticipate that at all. Um, so 
So there we go. Realigned. And now I just need to go back through again. And as before, I just I'm going to align it so that it's approximately half way through the slot. There we are. So, yeah, let's go back a little, a little step there, but we got there in the end. Okay. Now we've got some nylock, nylock nuts. We'll just stick them on. Um, the top one again does have the hex insert if you want to. However, a 17 mil spanner does fit. Look, if you uh, get it in there, so you can you can do that if you want. And then the nut is a 17. And there we go. That's the top one. And then the bottom. Same again. Just double check I'm actually getting onto the onto the flats. So there we are, that is the anti-roll bar on. A uh, bit of a pain to get the bottom one in, which um, was yeah, a bit of a bit of a weird one to be perfect honest. I will, I'm surprised that you need to remove that arm just to get that on. It just wouldn't, you just didn't have the clearance to uh, get that long, that long stud in the hole. It's a bit of a bit of an oddity. Anyway, right. In, 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 shock absorber in. Um, next, the three bolts at the uh, the front mount. Okay, so here is the last bolt, which I'm just gonna offer up, get it into place, and tighten it up. Now, um, with these, what I'm gonna do is there's, there's basically, you can see the scuff marks where the bolts were previously holding the um, the mounting to the chassis. Now, obviously this mounting came off of a different car. It came off the R56 that the arms came from. However, I'm gonna use those scuff marks to align the uh, the plate with the bolts. Again, that's just gonna get it into the rough ballpark of where it needs to be. Um, and obviously it will be dealt with at the, uh, at the alignment. Um, so I'm gonna obviously have sideways movement like so. So all I'm gonna do is move it into the right place and then tighten the bolts down um, to uh, to hold it in place. I'm trying to find my ratchet, there we go. Um, so I've got them, I've got the bolts aligned over the scuff marks now. So I'm just gonna tighten each one up. Now again, I'll bother about the uh, Talk at the end. That's 
one. gonna use my pry bar just to lever the arm over into the position I want it to be just like so and then I can get my ratchet and now I can lock the bolt into place Okay, so if we take a little look underneath, just there, let's turn the light on so you can see a bit better. There we go. You can see how I've got the bolts aligned and you can see that they're roughly um, over the scuff marks that were previously there. Um, so yeah, I haven't talked these bolts yet. Um, likewise, I haven't talked this one here holding the, the arm onto the bush, so that will be done um, prior to uh, prior to driving the car anywhere next um i think what we'll do is we'll get the abs sensor that I do need to put a tie wrap through uh through that little that little clip there put a tie wrap through there and then that'll hold it in the right place and it can all go and get plugged in okay so yeah let's uh let's get on with that okay so let's uh let's root the ABS cable through where it needs to be. Now you've got two holding points on this. You've got one there and one just there. The first one goes onto the shock absorber. And that's that in. And then the second one goes onto the chassis next to the next to the brake line. Go on, there we go, and there we are, that's them, and then I can drop down there and go over to where it needs to be on the chassis. So, what I'll do if I plug it in. Plug it in, get in the orientation correct. There, there we go. And then put it into its location on the uh, on the chassis. There is a clip just here which fits onto the alloy arm. I'll pop that back on there, and the uh, the cable can also clip into that. But what I do have here. Here's my tie wraps to go onto onto the little the little clip on the on the mount. Which will keep it neatly held out the way. And there we go. Is that done? Slip off the excess. 
job done. So that is the ABS sensor. That's everything bolted up. All we need to do now is go around and torque everything. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jack up underneath the uh, um, suspension, lift it just enough so that it's starting to lift the car off the axle stand, but not actually lifting it. Because once, if it's starting to lift the car, then the weight of the car is on the arm. Um, as soon as it's like that, then I'm happy that we've got um, enough weight on the uh, on all the bushes so that I can go around and talk everything. So I'll go around, give everything a talk, and then I'll bring you back in, and then we'll look at getting the uh, we'll look at getting the brakes all mounted back on. Okay, that is all the bolts tightened to torque. Um, some of them are pretty uh, some of them are pretty hench, so you will need a a pretty hefty uh, torque wrench in order to uh, do some of these. For example, these two, uh, 100 newton meters, 100 newton meters for the three holding the um, the bracket to the chassis. But the bolt that goes through the through that bracket into the arm through the bush, 165 newton meters. You know what I mean? So some of them are pretty uh, pretty big torque specs. Um, so yeah, as long as you've got a torque wrench that's capable of those, um, then you'll be all right. Anyway, moving on. What we need to do now is uh, put the brakes all back together um, and that is uh, simply a case of installation is reverse of removal. Um, I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up with a wire brush um, before fitting. Um, but these bolts um, do go uh, through the holes in the R56 arm just as they did on the R R50 arm. They're, they're more than long enough to mount the caliper bracket up. Um, the the disc uh, that will mount just like so get our bolt back in now obviously the condition of this disc I'm sure someone's going to comment on the condition of this disc don't worry about that this disc these pads everything is all getting replaced all this brake all these brakes um, are getting overhauled along with the uh, the um, flexible hoses this one along with the flexible hoses that go to the caliper they're all getting replaced as well um, again the uh, brake hoses were an advisor on the last MOT so we've got a full set of Hell Performance stainless steel ones to go on this car in a fetching purple colour as well because that's what my son decided he wanted seeing it was a purple car I was like whatever dude um, whatever whatever tickles your pickle so yeah we've got them to fit but that'll be again another video along with the, the overall brake um, overhaul um, additionally what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild these calipers they are actually going to get a complete overhaul um, new seals uh, and all that good stuff new pistons and everything so yeah they'll uh, that'll be another video uh, that you may want to uh, check out so yeah what we'll do we'll we'll get everything thrown back on um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on it because I am going to do all of this again in another video um, so it's just going to be a case of getting them on for now um, and then we can uh, get the wheel back on okay there we are that is the brakes reinstalled onto the car and uh, yeah they're all good uh, as I said um, I will be redoing all the braking system on this car in a future video um, I've got all the stuff I just need to obviously bother myself to actually film it now that is the process completely done obviously i've got to do the other side i'm not going to film both sides um but yeah the uh, the other side is exactly the uh, exactly the opposite just in mirror um and yeah that is it so these these arms being alloy should uh, should probably outlast the rest of the car to be perfectly honest um the, uh, the the ones that we took off you know we saw the condition of them they are absolutely disgusting so uh, yeah i'm glad we've done this um and uh, we should be good for the mot yeah Pretty straightforward, um, can be done with, you know, a, a fairly rudimentary toolkit. You don't need anything really that specialist in order to do this. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you found this um, this video useful. What I'm going to do is uh, jump over to the side, get that one done, and then, uh, yeah, I can then take the car for a test drive, but I'm not anticipating any problems whatsoever. But, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you all for stopping by and watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful if you did hit that thumbs up button leave a comment below um i'll leave a uh i'll leave um, a few links to things that you may need such as wheel bearings uh, bushes and that kind of thing drop links um yeah in the uh, in the description so you can go check them out but uh yeah i'll see you guys all again in the uh, in the next video take care bye bye now